This is a cornerstone event for the UK and it's about the UK demonstrating its credibility and engagement with NATO in this very important environment. This is the, the biggest international live fire event uh, that we've ever undertaken and that's very significant. The most significant being the fact that so many nations came together in such a complex scenario in order to prove the capability we have and also train the operators. Formidable Shield took place in May 2021 at the Ministry of Defence uh, range in Bebekula. Formidable Shield is at its heart uh, an integrated air and missile defence live fire exercise which incorporates both elements of operational interoperable training as well as capability testing and evaluation. Formidable Shield was about bringing 10 NATO nations together as a coalition to understand how they will operate in a warfighting environment and deliver protection against ballistic missiles and also attack from the air. And it was designed to look at um, how they link together in also uh, a joint environment using land and air assets as well to make them a very credible and capable fighting force. There's a number of aims of the exercise. Uh, firstly, it's to showcase European air and missile defence in you know, an integrated uh, way, so uh, showcase the interoperability of particularly NATO nations. Secondly, is to provide operational training. Thirdly, is to provide test and evaluation of new capabilities and equipment. And finally, it's to continue the development of tactics, procedures and doctrine. This is about a demonstration of high-end warfighting capability and, and all partner nations in NATO would recognise we need to do this together. And each nation can contribute capability uh, and each nation has its own place in this. So for the UK it's a demonstration of how we fit into that. But also what we achieve by this is understand the uh, advantages and capabilities other nations have as well. And that makes us stronger together. We're also able to trial some AI software but also some force threat an evaluation weapon allocation engine which in effect will make us think and act faster than the adversary. For me the highlight of the exercise was one particular event in which the entire task force, so all 16 ships, were operating in unison with both high diving and supersonic weaving missiles together with electronic warfare jamming, so a complicated picture. They're able to both operate together, pass data, exchange data, but also pass targeting information to each other to defeat the threat. In delivering this, this is an enterprise approach we have with Kinetic through our long-term partnering agreement. And it's something that Kinetic have absolutely been great in enabling, uh, in particular the facilities on the west coast of Scotland. Uh, their data linking and the information they can provide to all of the users on this and the analysis that will come from this about how we improve this uh, overall capability through this exercise. One of the great things about uh, our commitment to this and our participation is using the facilities we have with Kinetic on the Western Ranges. And this is really exciting for our NATO nations. One, it's a challenging environment for which they work in up at the North Sea but also the access we get to use those target sets, and these are ballistic missile targets in the North Sea and also the airspace from that as well. And what that has done in working with the uh, Missile Defence Agency and Sixth Fleet is brought investment into the UK that our other NATO allies can use beyond Formidable Shield as well. Since hosting Formidable Shield 19, there has been significant investment in capability and infrastructure into the Hebrides ranges. This includes a new ammunition processing building, upgrades to the range control building, new launch pad, and accommodation to be able to look after up to 200 people during the exercise. It's the first time we've brought this many nations together in this sort of context and also had the, the targets provided that give them a challenge to do it. And the end result was very, very successful. And building on that as well is uh, Formidable Shield 23 and 25, where we look to expand on the success of this uh, exercise. It takes a highly dedicated and committed team to deliver an exercise like the at-sea demonstration or Formidable Shield. 
I've been extremely proud to see our people working alongside the participating nations to deliver an integrated approach to these complex scenarios. I think there's more that we can do, particularly on a UK level, and we'll be looking to improve on that, make things more complicated, but also link across more with Norway and perhaps use other ranges in the north of Scotland as part of a much larger exercise. The MOD regards formidable shield as a huge success, not least in ensuring our interoperability with the Missile Defence Agency and also the Sixth Fleet, but more importantly our commitment to Europe and our NATO allies. We've worked hand in glove with them and each time we have one of these events we learn more from it and we believe we become a more capable force.